Hello everybody, this is Grezo. Welcome back to a game of Thrones and Crusader Kings. We start this episode off with a peasant uprising, so let's uh let's see what we we're up against here. Twenty nine thousand soldiers. Initially when, when you start off Crusader Kings and you see these, you're like, Whoa, there's twenty nine thousand people. Uh it says that they're special soldiers. Um I'm not sure if they're just levies or what the, the deal is, but whenever you get a peasant uprising, don't panic. Um <laughs> whatever you do like if if i was to surrender here uh we would lose control so we don't want to do that um we do want to fight them we just got to find them where are you located man where are you located you're located in white harbor which is the place that we've just taken and it's a bad mistake to do i suppose um yeah it's a bad mistake to fight us here because we are w way better equipped. Castamir is under siege as well. Really? Is this split between two? Uh, maybe we will call in. Actually, no. We will. Uh, looks like there is a, an uprising in White Harbor and also Castamir. So we'll defeat. We'll defeat the first army, <coughs> the big one first, um, and after that, then we'll we'll sail down to Castamir. So let's go and put this army to bed. Um, in the last episode, if you have not checked it out, Dorn, the Reach, and the North are almost within touching distance. These three kingdoms will complete the set, um, and the only one then we will be missing is the Stormlands, and obviously the Orin Throne. But it means that we'd have the Vale, the Westerlands, the Riverlands, the Orin Islands, Dorne, the North, and the Reach. Not even counting the ones that we have up here, which include the Ice Lakes, the Frozen Shore, the Ice River, Frost Fangs. Yeah. That, like, when, when those three uh, happen, we will almost, and I'm saying almost here, almost certainly have enough to gain independence. We fought... <laughs> We fought three times for independence, or twice. I'm not sure. But both times we've lost, and uh, it's been painful. So I would like to make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, okay, we have just <laughs> we've just won the Peasant Revolt. We don't even need to go to Castamere and disband all of our soldiers. Done. Um, when you get a, a revolt, I, I tend to say this all the time, but just in case anybody's new and just found this video and is like learning how to play Crusader Kings, always check these guys out that revolt against you. Generally, they're good marshals. Demand their conversion and recruit them. You may need them later on. Um, welcome to anybody new on the channel. I've noticed my sub count has increased lately, so it's great to have you around. Um, if you're enjoying the series, I will take a moment to do that YouTube thing where I ask you to, to click on the like button. It just helps the, uh, the video and the channel so, so much. I'm a small channel, so every, every little helps. So if you are enjoying the series, consider leaving a like. And if you're new and you liked the episode, maybe subscribe. But that's enough. That's all I'm going to say for today. Uh, I can modify some contracts here. Um, generally, if you have an option for this, uh, you can either take extra soldiers or extra money. And for me, I, I tend to take extra money um this guy is paying us like low taxes right now so let's get at least something from him he is in the province where we started off we actually started off down here as a custom character and all we had was this little lighthouse and we were looking at westeros across the water and we were like what is going to take place when we sail over to the iron islands um we were successful in terms of creating uh Chaos in the Orient Islands, eventually then becoming the king, and from there we took over the Riverlands, then the Vale, and then the Westerlands. So, that's the story so far. In case you forgot, uh, we're no longer scheming. Just checking on our characters here. They're still unlanded, so nobody's died yet. Uh, you... Hang on. You're almost ready to take over when this person becomes like 15 16 uh, and they have a kid that's when we'll take over uh, we can demand some payments so we're gonna take that take whatever ones that are like almost almost paid off 
and just see if there's anything that we can build. We could upgrade Pike. Large hill fort. Uh, I'm actually going to hold off and we'll do the. We'll wait for a thousand gold and we will increase that then in, in just a, in just a moment. Um, why are we Why are we not making as much money? Is our armies raised? No. Something happened and our income has dropped substantially. We'd normally be making about fifty a month. Why is that so low? Uh, there we go. Let's have to jump it back up. I'm unsure why that that happened. Chancellor. This guy is insanely good at what he's doing. We'll send him a gift so he likes us. And we'll give him an artifact as well so he likes us even more. Is there any like swords or anything that we don't use? That we could give him. What about this goblet? There you go. And I want him to work on... Direct vassal opinion. Our spy master is still terrible. And yeah, that's all we can do for now. There is terrible people on my council, but they've used hooks, so there's not much I can do about it. Actually, 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 we're no longer scheming. We're no longer scheming, so we could we could murder these people. Let's get rid of this guy. And our spy master. She has a strong hook, okay, but we can at least get rid of Cedric, which will um, help with her income. Anything else that we want to work on in the meantime? Um, how's 10? We have a truce. We would not have a truce if we were to murder him, so let's do that. So we could take it uh, a little bit quicker. And we want somebody that is a lowborn to take the position of fool. Here we go. Alrighty. The Reach have some land up in the north now as well. Uh, we absolutely dominated the north when we took White uh, White Harbor, and Newcastle was the the place uh, that we own, which we've now renamed to Iron Castle uh, because we're ironborn. But we we wiped out majority of this army. Ailing with age, enfeebled. I, I this might be the end of this character, folks. I'll read this out to you. I haven't seen this pop up in a while. I wake coughing and spluttering, my mind fogged, my head throbbing, almost retching. I try to haul myself out of bed, but the grip on the frame is frail, weak like a newborn babe. With the almighty effort, I judder, my feet, judder to my feet and stagger over to the wash basin. By the drowned god, where did this weakness come from? I feel so sickly. The cool water does little to refresh me. Bleary-eyed, I stare at the grim, hazy reflection in the polished silver mirror. The man glaring back at me looks so very, very old. So I could get aging gracefully. I or like don't I already have incapable? So this is like <clears throat> this gives me a huge health boost. Don't want to don't want to choose that one. I'm gonna take a spin at it. I gained the trait incapable. Okay, I lost the trait infirm. Uh, okay, so we. No! Okay, so I, I became incapable and my son just died. Who, who, who's the. Pause. Grazo, catch your breath. Who's our heir now? Donald of Castle Rock. He's good. He's only 10, though. Oh, that was just... Uh, that was a that was a, a double whammy there. Okay, we're going to wait. We have to wait. My, my existence is torture. I gained the trait melancholic. Oh, my God. We could, if we wanted to, we could uh, attempt suicide. 
But I'm not sure whether I want to do that yet. Why could I not place this guy? I think I want to give my money to Donald. Just let's let's send some money to Donald, right? Let's continue to send money to Donald. Just so he has a bunch of money when I die. Yeah, that's what I'm going to continue to do. If um, we want our spy master to disrupt schemes. We are incapable. What the hell does that mean? I mean, can we still scheme? We can, but we have very low likelihood of success. But we could... We could pay people. We could bribe this person, and we could bribe a couple people here. The sad end to Lord Calico the Fifth. We won't play as Calico the Sixth because he died. Um, we might have to rename Donald to Calico the Seventh. <laughs> Calico's is uh, the first character in the series. In case you're wondering, like why, why, why do I want to do that? Uh, away in. Word against close scheme power. Sure, let's do that. Okay, we can still invite somebody here. We kind of want the kid to grow up as quick as possible. We want taxes. Um, we want our kid to grow up as quick as possible, so we we, we kind of want to speed up time. Too risky. Don't ever send a carrot the messenger pigeon. Too risky. Same again. Don't do that. Uh, my captains, for some reason, when this pops up, always are shirtless. <laughs> uh, not sure why that is, but uh, that's a thing. Joffrey was caught. Okay, you. Can I dismiss? This is my regent. Joffrey must rot in a cell. Banish him. Right? Banish that guy. He's no longer my harbor master. Who's my regent? This guy. Um, he's not loyal enough to be married. What is going on? Hmm. Okay. Low control. Three counties. Castamere. Okay, we want to increase control in Castamere. Let's do that. Castamere is just down here. Let's do that for now. Speed of time. My vassal was killed in a siege. Everybody's dying. I can change a contract. I want massive amounts of gold. Just want to see. Are these people in power yet? No. All of them are still unlanded. Okay. That's fine. Okay, he's 11. Uh, scheme was exposed to murder the person in 10. Uh, still still a 50-50 chance. Bon Appetit. We can rebuild that. We can, we can scheme against him again. I want to get this guy off my court so we can earn some money. 50%, 58% chance this guy is killed. Can I get you to support schemes just for a second? 72% chance. Okay, so to get you down to switch back to uh, disrupt schemes. So we have a new 10 has a uh, 10 has split. Can I offer vassalization? No, but we could eat up this land. Dirkvis and pack land. We could uh, go to war for now. I can't have wars when I'm incapable. No! 
No. Okay. Well, we can't expand. We cannot expand right now. Gift. I've already given her a gift. Gift. No, I've already given her a gift. Um, low county control. Well, this one is a this one is a sore episode so far. Sore, sore. It's painful. Infiltrators. Um, let's just see what we want to do here, shall we? It's not worth it. I would like your courtier, Morton, to become the court. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Gift artifact. Why do you want to give me an artifact? Sure. I got a new artifact. It's a hammer. I've got two of these now. And I suppose this one we want to give to our son. Actually, well, let's just give it to one of our knights. Do you have. You don't have an artifact. Let's give, to, give this person an artifact. Prize hammer, prize hammer. Just increases their prowess. Get you a spouse as well. Why, why do we not have you a spouse? Let's get someone that's old. Okay. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe this guy could father a kid before he passes away. Let's do that. Okay. Not a good success chance. We need their spy master to support schemes for that. Uh, grandson can marry. My rival's just died. That's great. Uh, I was looking forward to playing this calico. Bald calico. The things we could have accomplished together. Trait inheritable. Hmm. You can marry a Lannister. All right. Keeping an eye an on the age of her son. He's still 11. Learning lifestyle perk. Learning per level of devotion. I mean, I'm incapable, so. Um, suppose it does increase my learning by 10. I can hold two extra holdings now. <clears throat> two extra buildings. And who's in succession for the player error is gonna get this next. I do wanna just give this guy where's his money gone? Let's keep on giving this guy money in case we die. Stop spending the money. I'm not sure what you're spending it on. Sweets in the shop, maybe. Um, Lord Seric is killed. Come on. One, just under fifty percent chance. No, we want, <coughs> we want to do it again. <coughs> uh, my vassal. Okay, we want extortionate amounts of taxes. Just keeping an eye on these kids. Okay. Uh, we can't go to war, right? So there's no point in in claiming titles just yet.
Someone changed, like, became the cultural head. Can we change, swing the scale, the, the thing of power? We'll spend some prestige to get some power back. Well, well, well. Capable, poor sick man. He's poor. Regent is now more powerful. Um, could murder him. Let's murder my regent. Sure. Um, I have tons of prestige. So I do want to go through and get some good characters for my court. So we'll just get people that are good at prowess. There's a giant. Let's marry, marry these people. There's someone that's beautiful. Okay, that's fine. And we could in three years we can we can do absolute crown authority. We can upgrade that so so much. Let's do that. Bon appetit, Cedric. Are you doing support schemes? See if we can get rid of him. No, let's try again. We have a dynasty legacy now. Um, monthly life intrigue, lifestyle experience. What do we want here? Marriage acceptance, not really good. Better guess, not really need, not really needed. Life expectancy plus five years. I'm gonna take that just so we can stay alive until my son reaches age reaches uh, comes of age sorry he's now 12 I can change this person's contract again just extortionate amount of gold please we got an alliance with that person too uh, all good there Send this guy a gift so he likes me a bit better. We got to speed through this. My grandson was taken prisoner. We got to speed through this. We got to secure a succession. Uh, my rival has passed away. I'm outliving all of my rivals, even though I'm incapable. My <laughs> the rival, <laughs> another rival gone. Who's taking out these rivals, man? Uh, the court just like gave me a notification there, but I can't do anything. Demand payments, hostages, all of that's okay. Pride's keep, we can construct the building. Let's do this one. Hunting grounds. Oh, Castamir. Um, destroyed ruin. Okay. Murder, this is my regent. Okay, he's gone now. Who's my new regent? A member of my family. Brilliant. That's better. I'll get her a spouse as well. We'll drag in someone that is... Whoa, 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 whoa. We dragged on the wrong person. We want someone that's good at prowess. He is 37. We'll do a matrilineal. So he... 
joins my cord. I can invite somebody to get rid of this guy now. Nice. Just to increase our chances of that. I want this guy off my council. Incapable. I think I'm pretty capable. Like I'm, I'm steering the ship pretty well here, considering I have like uh, a broken brain due to physical injury or men men I'm mentally disabled, and I'm still <laughs> still in charge. Some might say he's been mentally mentally kind of struggling since the start uh, when he's when he started the series. He's never been quite right. The Kane Dynasty's never been quite right. There's been something something strange about them. Okay, cool. We can we can now get a better steward. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Swap this guy. Swap them. More gold. 50 gold a month. Let's just have a look at our son. Well, not our son. Our uh, our grandson. He still has the money. Sweet. He He's defending against... He's going to lose Castle Rock. Take all the money you need. Buy mercenaries. Use it on mercenaries. Please, son. Grandson. We don't want to lose Castle Rock. Try to swing swing the uh, the scale in that war. This guy's dead. Immediately dead. What's going on? Um, reassign that guy up there, I suppose. With that lady. And we get a better admiral. Assign that person. We have a learning perk. My wards get additional skills and can become my friends. Clergy opinion. Yeah, I suppose we, we have to take this. Faction created against me. Lower crown authority. No chance of that happening. Just gotta bribe them. I can't go to war. Like leverage prestige. What am I meant to do if they uprise against me? Can I can I fight? Maybe I can't declare wars, but maybe I can. Uh, maybe I can defend myself. Not sure. Her army is also just like losing so many soldiers. An alliance, though, no, don't need it. Increase control in White Harbor. What age is our grandson? He's 14. Okay, two more years. We, we're flying. Uh, we're going to decline that. We're flying up the ranks. When he becomes of age, we're going to try to commit suicide. We'll leave this world on our own terms. I didn't know that you could... I thought you had to do like one after the other and all that sort of stuff. Uh, pass absolute crown authority. Let's see what happens here. Get more taxes. Grandson killed in siege. Can we stop this guy from fighting? We we have to do that. Twenty nine prowess. Twenty nine prowess. He's not of age. Okay, that's fine. He can't fight yet. We do need to take him out when he come, becomes of age. Uh, they want lower, lower crown authority. This guy. Here's a gift. Please leave. Okay. Something was constructed in Castamir. We need 600 gold pretty soon. 
We have an empty council position. Admiral, this seems to be uh, cursed. Let's get someone else in there. Send proposal. I'd like... It would please me greatly if you could personally see too little when she comes of age. Why? No. I don't want to look at... Look, I'm incapable here. Why are you asking somebody that's mentally disabled to look after your child? That seems like you're mentally disabled if you're asking that question. I can ransom... Oh, hang on. Why do I have a prisoner? Fifty gold is fifty gold. I'll take it. Spoil master, need a new one. We got a good one. We get Nessa in there. Come on, come, come of age. Fifteen, I think sixteen. He comes of age. Lord Donald, he will be the next Calico. He'll be Calico the. My rival's dead. All my rivals are dead. He'll be Calico the seventh. Who um, I think Aegon the seventh as well. We've kinda of caught up with the Targaryens. Just wanna see as well. And 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 is he keeping the money that I'm giving him? He keeps spending it. He did he he successfully defended Castle Rock, it looks like. Let's continue to just kind of fund his little empire here. Granddad loves you, son. Grandson. Um, that's why he's giving you lots of money. I have claims on Castle Rock. I could ask for that back. I have claims on the crossing. I could revoke title. I could just say, hey, I want this. I'll just. Uh, give me, give me the cross and back just for now. Sweet. Okay, the rival, grand vassal, set a rifle lead. Sure. I'm six vassals above my my allowance, and I can create a title. Let's do that. Uh, High lordship of, well, the cross, the crossing. Uh, we'll grant it to my son. Grant titles, give him the cross in. There we go. And High Lordship of Castamere. Or the Jagged Hills. I want to give away the Jagged Hills. Give that to. Who is in the Jagged Hills? Who's up in the Jagged Hills? Give it to the actual appropriate person rather than just my son this time. Uh, this guy. Here we go. Okay, uh, I can transfer this person to that person. Sure, let's do that. And come on, what age is he? Sixteen? Is he? Did he become of age? No, he became of age. I think if he's available in my soldier list now, I think I'm able to play as him. Player air forbid. Okay, so what we're going to do, <coughs> sadly, is we are going to take a attempt suicide decision. Um, I'm a little pause. Rory, please end this. Okay, we have successfully... <laughs> We've successfully died. We will end this episode here by reading out the last words of Calico V. Calico V of the Iron Islands has finally found peace at 84 years of age. He died under mysterious circumstances. Although quite famous for his sharp intellect, he could not outsmart the drowned god. Lord Donal, soon to be Lord Calico VII, uh, ascends to the throne. Being an idle man, many fear nothing will come of his reign. He's also at war. Folks, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode where Lord Donald will become Lord Calico the Seventh, and he will get uh, the lands of his forefathers. The goal still remains the same. We aim to become independent from the Iron Throne. 
Thanks for your feedback. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. See you in the next one. Take care. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.